Hi and welcome to today's devotion. My name is Abimbola and I, along with my husband Toba, are the African Connect Pastors. We are continuing with our series thoughts of Therefore Go. In Matthew 28, we read about the Great Commission where Jesus tells us his followers to go into all the world and make disciples. This week in our devotions, we are on a journey through 2 Corinthians 5.17 that says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation and the old has gone, the new is here. We've looked at what it is to be a new creation in Christ, letting go of the old, pursuing the love of Jesus. Today, we are embracing new identity. We are embracing a new identity. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. The old has gone and the new is here. 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Sometimes our past identity seems so strong that um, it's hard to believe we can change. But Jesus sees us beyond our past mistakes and fears. He finds us in our struggles, offering a new identity rooted in his love and purpose for us. Being a new creation means we are no longer identified or defined by the old, but by who we are in him. Jesus' restorative love helps us to see ourselves through his eyes, through his lens. Today, think about any labels or thoughts you've clung to from the past. Reflect on how Jesus is calling you to embrace your new identity. It's a journey, trust me. But with his guidance, with his love, you would walk into the fullness of who he created you to be, free from the old limitations and fully alive in him. Shall we pray? Lord, thank you for giving me a new identity in you. Help me to let go of the old and live in the truth that I am your beloved child. Renew my mind and heart. Lord, Thank you for giving me a new identity in you. Help me to let go of the old and live in the truth that I am your beloved child. Renew my mind and heart to see myself as you do. Amen.